distinguished honorable guests, my uh, dear colleague, Ambassador Thore Ibsen, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, 大家下午好, in China. Good day, or Island. Just allow me to uh, deliver my speech in English. Uh, um, I'm very pleased to have the opportunity, together with the minister, to participate in the signing ceremony of the uh, cooperation contract between Jiangsu Silverbank Petrochemical Company and Carbon Recycle International, CRI, here today. Congratulations to you all. The project signed today is a new breakthrough in the cooperation between China and Iceland in the field of carbon recycling technology. It is conducive to the deepening of cooperation between the two countries in the field of sustainable development and environmental protection. It also highly accords with the Chinese government's policy and the practice of building a beautiful China. And it is also a great gift to, the, uh, to mem commemorate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and Iceland. China has now entered a new stage of building a modern socialist country in an all round way. The Chinese government has made high quality and sustainable development its priority, as its priority goes. In his speech at the general debate of the 75th UN General Assembly last September, Chinese President Xi Jinping stated that China will adopt more vigorous policies and measures with aim to have CO2 emissions peak before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060, which has captured the headlines and universal praise from the international community. In order to respond to global warming and achieve carbon emissions reduction targets, China has implemented a number of measures and achieve fruitful results. In 2020, China's carbon dioxide emissions per unit of GDP dropped by 18,8% compared with the amount in 2015. Exceeding the planned goals and non-fossil non energy accounted for 15.9% of the global energy consumption of China. The development and utilization of green energy is the focus and highlight of the cooperation between China and Iceland, bringing tangible benefits to the two countries and two peoples. December 8th this year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and Iceland. The bilateral cooperation is facing new opportunities. China's rapid development also brings new opportunities for deepening bilateral cooperation. China is willing to further strengthen friendly cooperation with Iceland in the field of carbon recycle technology utilization and etc. Hopefully, we can witness more cooperation projects to come, achieve the goal of complementing each other and win-win cooperation, and provide new impetus for the development of friendly relations between China and Iceland. I've always been committed to promoting pragmatical cooperation between China and Iceland and have developed a good cooperation relationship with the CRI. Today, I'm very pleased to see that after the preliminary preparations, CRI 
signed a contract with the Jiangsu Sigabon Petrochemical Company. It is hoped that the two sides could work together, overcome difficulties, and make sure that the project completed at an early date. Here, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the relevant organizations and personnel, both in China and Iceland, for the valuable support to this project. I will end my tenure here in Iceland in a week and, have a, and take a new posting in Beijing soon. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all your support to my work. See you in Beijing. Thank you all. Thank you.